with a good week of practice. Um, and uh, I, I think, uh, you know, what I'm most pleased with is, is we got great leadership from, from Everett this week. Um, you know, he's, he's got an immense amount of pride and um, really enjoyed coaching him this week. So it was a fun week in, in the, the growth department uh, from that perspective. Uh, he, uh, you know, again, you know, nobody likes to uh, be that guy that is, uh, uh, you know, singled out for, you know, their play. But, you know, he's the quarterback at Notre Dame. He embraces that. And, uh, took control this week of practice and um, was vocal and uh, was a guy that I hadn't seen before and it was enjoyable to be out there with, uh, coaching him. So, uh, great week of practice. Expect great things uh, uh, from him on Saturday. And then as far as the running back position, does Barry go back and start in lineup or? Well, he, th you know, he started. It just was the situation in the game where we were coming back, we were throwing it much more, you know, going into a balanced situation, you know, we would go back to what our rotation was. Daniel just finds a way to hang in, and when it looks like he's falling behind, he finds his way back up into the. And that's him, you know. He um, he's such a gritty, tough, competitive kid. He's always been counted out, whether it's in middle school or high school or Notre Dame, and he finds a way to help your football team, and, and that's probably you know his story, and uh, he, he continues to contribute. And again, it was a great leader for us as well. I mean, I, I can recall um, him coming in my office prior to the Stanford game and, and uh, telling me, telling me, underlying, telling me that um, he should be starting against Stanford because that's his kind of game. And uh, that's camp. And uh, we did start him against Stanford because that is his kind of game. And, um, you know, he just he carries himself with a great deal of confidence. and. Um, it, it shows itself. Oh, absolutely. And he sets a standard for those two other kids. And they get it, too. They see it. You know, and they understand. I mean, the watchword around it, listen, they hear it. You know, they hear what we say. They, they listen. They listen to my press conference, too. Um, so, you know, they hear me say, you know, Folston needs to be a complete back. You know, he had it written on his tape on his, his wrist to, this week. I need to be a complete back. And so... Um, you know, he was focused on blitz pickup. When it was blitz pickup drill, he was in there, you know, wanting to prove that he can be. Um, and I just fr frankly told him, when you get that completed, there'll be another box we've got to check. So there's going to be more. So they understand that. And so I think, as, as I said earlier, um, there's more for those guys to accomplish, but they all still have their own styles.